you really can't do too much for a kid who just insists on rebelling against everything that you try to teach them. Those are hard-headed kids that has to learn on their own. And as a parent, you still have to be there when they fall. And when they fall, hopefully they bump their head hard enough to say, okay, mom, dad, you was right. Because it don't it doesn't matter with certain kids how much you beat into their brain the rights, the wrongs, the don'ts, the do's, they're going to do things their way. You, you feel me? So at the end of the day, what I feel like if we have more parents doing the things that need to be done, that percentage of hard head kids will drop. We got to have parents that don't fucking quit on their kids. And giving it to God, people, is not quitting. It's you've done everything that you can do for them, father, take over. That's not quick. No, nah, it is. It's not. I'm not gonna disagree. It is kids like that, bro. It is definitely kids like that. That's it's very hard. I was one of those kids, and um, I, I was a hard headed kid, bro. I had a kid. You know, I had my son at 16. I learned on my own. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just glad. I'm just thankful that my mama didn't give up. On me. Yeah. Because if she would have gave up on me, I would have been one of these statistics that we're talking about right now. Like not. Taking care of the fam. When I say don't give up on your kids, I, that's the most important thing. Yeah, you can give it to God, but still, still reach out. Still, you, you ate. I don't like the way you're living right now, but I'm gonna make sure you you eating. And just being a parent, you, that it never stops. It never stops. Um, never giving up is extremely important, but as equal. I think also when we, when we realize as even as parents that God get, has given us even free will to choose to serve him or not. Yeah. But like you said, never give up. I totally agree. And I was 15 when I had my first child. Yeah. So we, you know, you know how it is. And I, I agree with you, Ms. Kim, but like I mentioned, you said never give up and you got to find, if we find how to communicate with our kids and we dig a little deeper, try to figure out what it is that's really get down to the root. Therapy is definitely needed in the black community. Mm -hmm. That communication is too.